Hello and welcome back to another special Raccoon Cap Real World Review. My name is Wadball and I'm your reviewer for today. Of course, I've got to open the same freaking way every single time. Not because I've got OCD or anything, not that there's anything wrong with that. So, I was just looking through my DOS collection and I was just thinking about the past. The past being back in the day when DOS was not DOSBox, DOS was 6.22 or 5.0 or 4.0, and we were struggling to figure out what settings to put our MSCDXs, our Sound Blaster initiation files, and also what ports we were putting everything in. Because let's face it, DOS didn't do a didn't do a very good job in uh, configuring all those settings. And if your drivers didn't work, poof, you have nothing. Back then, we had CDs and CD cases in CD caddies. Now everything's tray loaded or slot loaded, but back then, we always had one game to a CD. Let's see if I can find some examples here. We got a, uh, let's see here, uh, let's see, what do I have? Ah, here's one. Here's one from the Sierra Originals collection. We have, let's see here, King's Quest V. Ooh, yeah. Awesome. We also have stuff like Privateer, one of my all-time favorite flying games. I may do a Let's Play on that sometime. But collections were also big back then, too. So it was always nice to pack in multiple games in a single disc. We had things like the EA Top 10 pack, the EA Fantasy pack, which had the Sherlock Holmes game, which, which I had previously Let's Played. We also have collect big, bigger collections like this one. Let's see, this one is original Wing Commander Kilrathi Saga. It's are very rare. Nobody wants them anymore because you can run everything on DOSBox. But back then, to actually get this kind of collection, it's very, very rare. Now, another rare collection that I've got that you should all like is this. Yeah, those are my CDs. Of what, do you ask? Let's flip them over. Yep, my secret's out. This is how I played Gabriel Knight 1, Sins of the Fathers. This is the Gabriel Knight Mysteries Limited Edition Pack that I'd gotten when I was a kid after my brother sold off my original copy of Gabriel Knight 1 to make some money, ostensibly for a drug trade or something, I'm not entirely sure. So, here you go. See the purple disc? It's a little bit different than the Sierra Originals or the original disc that it came in. And the Mysteries Collection actually has two separate games. This is Gabriel Knight 1 and Looky Looky. Gabriel Knight 2, The Beast Within. Oh, 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 oh. Now, I know, I know you guys are probably thinking, oh, great, now he's going to review Gabriel Knight 2. Maybe eventually. I just wanted to show you. I just wanted to show you guys another kind of way to collect games. These are complete sets. So Gabriel Knight Two had six discs, and this consequentially comes with six discs. But in addition to Gabriel Knight and Gabriel Knight Two, the pack came with something that looked kind of interesting. Let's just the Gabriel Knight soundtrack, which also includes the game manuals and the Sins of the Fathers graphic novel. Now, unfortunately, none of these on-CD things work anymore because, well, you need a 16-bit system and very rarely I can even, I'm not even sure I can get this to work on my Windows 98 second, second edition system. But the soundtrack still works just fine. And the soundtrack is sort of, you know, one of those things that brings you back because back in the day, when we were listening to everything on AdLib or even Sound Blaster AdLib, you heard bloops and bleeps that kind of sounded like a song that was slightly better than PC Speaker, but, you know, you couldn't really figure out where you were. And then when you listen to the soundtrack, it's like, MT32, baby! MT32! Uh, so let's uh, go in and put in some samples here. Listen in on uh, what's a little bit different than what you would hear. Okay, now, that's, now that that's done, the... Sierra Packers decided to put something else into the Mysteries Collection. So enough of that, the music CD, which is awesome by the way, if you can find a copy, you should try to get it. Um, one of the things that 
came with this with this collection was kind of weird. I don't know. You guys like reading. Well, given that you're playing games, you're probably also into reading, hopefully. In the collection came something else. Dun da da da! Gabriel Knight, Sins of the Fathers. This is not a CD case, it is a book. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know. Back in, the, back in the day, before Halo books and Warcraft books and all these other books came out, people wrote books about adventure books. And this one was written by, consequently, Jane Jensen, who was actually by trade an author before she became a storyline programmer, blah 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 for Sierra, and made one of the greatest game series ever known to man. So, how does this fare? Well, not bad. I mean, for for something that's based on a video game, it definitely fares better than any movie that could have been made on Gabriel Knights and the Fathers. And they would probably ruin the whole Gabriel and Grace thing, the subtly as subtly that was handled in Gabriel Knight 1 comes to a head in Gabriel Knight 3, but he probably would have sped it up. Anyway, so yeah, you've got the words here. Again, just like the Peter Spear guide to King's Quest that I showed you guys before. And it's a decent read. You could probably finish the entire thing nah, within, a, within a few hours or so. But that's not the only reason why I'm bringing this up. Look at that Nightmare Hunter. Let's put this over here. Jane Jensen also did something else. Let's take a look at what else she did. Dun dun da da! Gabriel Knight, The Beast Within. That's right, she wrote this one too. Novelization of the second game, ostensibly for The Brutal Beast. I believe that's what Gabriel was calling the book anyway. Yeah, it's basically the same thing. Published by the same company, Rock. And Goes through this goes through everything that happens in Gabriel Knight 2 in novel form. It's sort of like a choose your own adventure, except you're not really choosing your own adventure here. Yeah. Both these books are pretty old. I got these books what was it, about ten years ago, I think. Yeah, just about. I think the Gabriel Knight collection came out in ninety seven, and this book came out just a little bit after the second game came out. The second game came out what, ninety eight? Not entirely sure about that. Well, what? A, well, if you can't get enough of Jane Jensen, what else can you do? Well, she actually published a couple more books. Let's take a look here. Uh, we got Judgment Day. I think it was called something different before. Uh, before was it Millennium? I think it was called something about that. This is about. Uh, let's see here. Uh, about the apocalypse. About the year two thousand. I think. And she wrote another book, which I don't have with me right now, called Dante's Equation. And uh, I'm not quite, I don't quite remember what that one was about. I think it was about Dante's Equation, about some sort of equation to get you to hell or something. I don't know. I should probably read that sometime, if I ever have time. Oh, I did leave something out. What was that? Oh, yes. I have a copy of Gabriel Knight 3 sitting somewhere. I'll just leave it to someone else to Let's Play. Oh, wait. It's already been Let's Played. We'll see what happens with that. I just wanted to show you... A full Gabriel Knight collection, or at least as full as I can show you in a small screen with a janky video setup. Anyway, this is Wadball signing off saying good night and good luck. I'll see you guys next time.